this is i'm gonna go into my senior year just vlog my entire life you guys just stay tuned because y'all gonna be along with me y'all gonna witness when i accomplish these goals and i'm speaking them into existence in the existence in the name of jesus i'm gonna be transparent the pageant that was a stress for and cheer was a stressor for me. I know I'm a cheerleader, I'm not a dancer. If you thought they were the same, they're two different things. My pageant journey was honestly a big stressor. Baby, I was never leaving to stay gone. I was coming back. Teenage girls about to be grown this year. I'm finna be 18 years old. That's literally absurd. God sees the little setbacks and he's trying to take them out of my life. I have another business. Your girl has a whole other business. It's called The Wig Wiz. I don't see myself being a cheerleader this year. It's very hard to say, but it's on. It's the honest truth. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Maya. Hold on, let me back y'all up. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Maya back at it again with another video. I'm back. Um, the typical. My name is Maya. I'm 17 years old, and you're watching my channel. Hey, your girl is back and I'm hopefully here to stay but I did want to come back with you guys and I did want to tell y'all that I did miss y'all and I have been thinking about y'all but I have been able to make the time that I needed to make to fit y'all to fit you all into my schedule but I'm here to tell you and I want to answer a couple questions as well I'm here to tell you that I'm here and I'm prayerfully here to stay and I have so many amazing videos planned for you guys so I just hope you guys are still along the ride with me and ready to stay tuned to all these amazing videos that I have in mind and in plan for you guys so let's just hop right on into this video because I don't want this to be a long drawn out video because I want to get straight to the point I asked a couple questions on my Instagram and I and I have a couple questions that I just know y'all want to know the answer to as well so first we're going to start with why did you take a break so if you guys do not know I am a junior in high school and the season I mean not the season but the year is coming to a a end the year is coming to an end and this junior year has honestly the busiest year of my whole high school year my, the whole high school season the, everything high school my whole high school career path junior year has been my all-time hardest and busy busiest year and to sum up everything, I've had a lot of work. I've had, I participating in a pageant. I'm going to get into detail about that. Y'all know I was, well, y'all probably don't know. I was the captain of the cheer team. I just had a whole bunch of stuff on my plate and YouTube. I kind of pushed it all the way to the back of the line because, and I'm in so many clubs to the point where I wasn't given enough time to X amount of clubs like I should have been giving time to so I had to actually push I had to get my priorities in order and I know y'all may feel like and y'all are very much so a priority to me but I have to get the mindset that I'm trying to graduate high school as a scholar baby as a scholar as a student athlete as everything I want to be that's gonna look good on my transcript and yes YouTube would it probably wouldn't look the best as everything else would but it would as well but I have freed up some space so that's like the real reason I took a break and I had to find another job. Y'all, this is, let me go into this next question. Um, life, life updates. So I'm going to start with like the least amount of juicy life updates to the most recent life update that's actually like life changing. So the first life update was, as you, as you guys know, I did work at a financial institution since I was 14 years old. I'm now 17 years old. It just sounds so crazy. I've been on YouTube since I was 13 years old, so it's crazy. But, um, yes, I worked at a financial institution, but it was through my school. So, I had to physically be taking a class at the school to work there. And next year, your girl is going to be on a college campus. I'm going to be a senior, but I'm going to be taking college classes on a college campus. So, I won't be able to take that class on campus. With that being said, your girl had to find a job. So, your girl is working at the YMCA this summer. So super excited about that. I've never worked with kids before. I'm going from working with older people to little babies. So I'm I'm very excited about that because I love I like kids, but I don't want any of my own. But I like kids, but I don't want any of my own. Keep that. Note it, baby. Note it. But um yeah, so I have a new job, so that's been in the working as well. I just took a CPR training this past week. I have a training tomorrow, I have a training upcoming weekend have another training next week i have so many trainings coming up with that as well um 
what else what else what else the other update was i will be taking college classes and i will only have one class a day in my latest class my earliest class starts at 11 and my latest class starts at 12. with that being said your girl will have more opportunities and more time to spend with you all as well and make content for you all and let's see so long other update your girl did a pageant your girl did a pageant um and i'm not even going to cap to y'all i could make a separate video about my whole pageant experience but i probably want to do that after my reign is over but i did a little pageant i did my mr and miss at my high school and i did have the privilege have the opportunity to take home first runner up of my school which i'm so blessed and appreciative and thankful for because i mean i was competing against six uh, six other girls and to have placed you know, three girls was going to place, three girls weren't going to place. So, I'm very thankful and appreciative and thankful of God that I did have the opportunity to place. But, that whole pageant thing, I'm just going to tell my girls now. If you plan on going into a pageant, participating in any type of pageant, you have to have the right mental capacity for it. It is, it, it can get very stressful. It can be very fun and very stressful at the same time. It's honestly what you make it. But, that's all I'm going to say about that. So, the next update is your girl won a contest. I won a contest, so I had to do a five minute speech on how students can shape the future for our democracy, or how young voices can shape the future for our democracy. First place winner got $500, and your girl had the honors, the honors of taking home that first place prize of $500. And my speech was very good. If y'all wanna get a speech, that'll be in another video, but y'all just gotta let it be known. But, um, yeah i participated in that and i did try out for cheer this year as well but i, I gotta give y'all a backstory on that as well i tried out for cheer this year made the team made varsity like i stated in the beginning i was captain last year of the cheer team but this year i did make the team um i was on the team for like a good month and then like as of yesterday yesterday what was, what's today yeah yesterday I made the executive decision. I like to say executive decision, but that's probably not the right word. But I made the decision to, it's not really resign, but I made the decision to step back and focus on myself this year because I don't have, I don't see myself being a cheerleader this year. It's very hard to say, but it's on, it's the honest truth. And I love them girls with all my heart. I'm, I will always be there for them, always be there to help them, but, I just don't see a place for me on the team this year. And it's sad. I had a mental breakdown um, the day after I decided to step back. But, you know, I feel like I've got to, I, I became closer to God as well. That's something else I have been on YouTube because I have gained a strong relationship with God. And I do, I don't physically hear him, but I have the feeling when he's telling me to do something and really he's telling me to step back from something and cheer came by a shock but it was definitely something that he told me to step back from this year but i know it's all for the good all for the better i feel like all new things are coming for me this year i'm no longer working at the same job i have a new job no longer cheering i'm gonna try to branch out to a different sport maybe but i have another business your girl has a whole nother business it's called the wig wigs where i do wig cleanings washing all type of stuff removing lace glue wash shampoo styling i'm gonna get into dyeing as well but your girl i have so much going for myself and i just feel like god sees the little setbacks and he's trying to take them out of my life but i say that in the most humblest way you guys if you don't know me and if you don't know me personally i'm a very humble individual i don't throw any of my accomplishments in anybody's face whenever somebody else accomplished something and maybe i fail at this specific thing i always give them their props encourage them like give them that give them their compliments give them their you know their props but never was a jealous type of individual so i stepped back and i stepped back with proud and i'm very i'm still very close to my coach me and her will always have a very close bond but it is time for our new things your girls might be grown this year i'm gonna be 18 years old that's literally absurd but that was my life update and that was the biggest update you guys know y'all been seeing cheer vlogs since i was in middle school so y'all would not see that anymore which is crazy but y'all gonna see the senior pictures and you're still gonna see us cheer pictures so you're gonna stay tuned for that baby but what motivated me to come back 
You know, YouTube never left my heart. It never left my heart. I always, y'all always crossed my mind. It never was something that went unnoticed. And everybody always asks me, Maya, where have you been? Maya, where have you been? When are you going to start posting again? I, my answer is always, I don't have time. Um, I'm going to do it eventually. But motivating me to come back is not only them, but also, like I said, I'm getting closer to God. And I think it's time for me to start back as well. Because I feel like that's what he's freeing up my time for. He's freeing up time for me to focus on this passion that I have for you guys, for YouTube. So that honestly motivated me to come back. And I just, baby, I was never leaving to stay gone. I was coming back eventually. And I just want you all to know that I was coming back eventually. But that motivated me to stay back. God and my surrounding peers around me that just truly enjoys my videos. And I never do that y'all enjoy my videos the way y'all say I enjoy my videos. So y'all is back. And hopefully I'm back to stay. Um, how was your pageant journey? I said I was going to say it in a different video. But I might as well say it in this video. Um, my pageant journey was honestly a big stressor. That was a big stressor for me as well. That was another, that was like the main reason I wasn't on YouTube as well because the pageant, I was very stressed out. Um, there were times where I wanted to quit the whole process. I didn't want to go through with it, but God, I can't, it was nobody but God that gave me the strength, the courage to get on that stage at night and devour that stage. But, um... My pageant journey, it was stressful if you did if you wasn't at the pageant, which most of you probably weren't. Um, I did a dance and my choreographer, I love him to pieces. I appreciate him for not giving up on me because y'all know I'm a cheerleader, I'm not a dancer. If you thought they were the same, they're two different things. One is tight, one is loose. So keep that in mind. But it was very hard for me to adjust. So that was a stressor on top on top of um just the pressure of remembering 31 questions, remembering answers seeing everybody else do better than you and getting discouraged it was just it's a process that's why i'm saying you have to have the mental capacity for it but also it shows how strong of an individual you are as well because it was only eight people out of my whole entire out of the whole entire junior class that decided to run for the pageant that decided to run for that title mr and miss so kudos to you at the same time kudos to us pat on our backs but it is something that's very stressful so do it at your own discretion, but you can have an amazing time as well. But yeah, and everybody's looking at you. Remember, always have integrity. Do the right thing when nobody's watching. I promise you, somebody's always watching. But that was my pageant journey. Um, my YouTube goal this year, so I think we're like 3,020 subscribers. I'm trying to be at 3,500 subscribers. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I really want to be at 4,000, but 3,500 is the realistic number. So that's my YouTube goal. Um mentally mentally i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i'm gonna be completely transparent with you all mentally i feel like i'm since out of my whole entire junior year i'm my best right now because a lot of stuff has just been lifted off my shoulders i've been able to breathe i've been able to have days where i had nothing to do like today i literally went to texas Royal house with my friend and went shopping because i had nothing to do like it feels amazing to just be able to have that time as a teenager that's about to be an adult my last year as a teenager just being able to be a teen you know just be a teen which i know at 18 19 but i'm still gonna be a teen i'm still gonna be up under this house in college just do my big one but yeah um yeah mentally i'm great i'm amazing and i'm happy to be back with you all and just a lot of my stressors have been lifted up off my shoulder i'm not gonna go into detail but a lot of my stressors i'm gonna be transparent the pageant that was a stress for and cheer was a stressor for me so a lot of that has been that both of those mainly has been lifted up off of my shoulders and this testing still in school and testing these are my stressors too i have my last test tomorrow that's going to be a stress to relief off my shoulders as well all this relief is helping me be become a more better minded individual and mentally stable individual so yeah um hold on i think i already answered how my junior year how my junior year has been so far i already answered that um uh, what are my plans after high school after high school 
y'all know entrepreneur i bleed entrepreneurship y'all i still want to continue my business with jewelry and i might rebrand i might rebrand that business and start selling some different type of stuff i might have that as a business where i just sell trendy stuff like you know when the junk cases was out probably hop on that trend you know like patch stuff was out and people was putting patches on everything hop on that trend that might just be that business and then i'm gonna do my wig cleaning business that'll be like a business that i actually stick to um, but yeah, and I also want to become a real estate agent. My plans, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to tell you the college that I want to go to, but my plans are to attend college after high school for four years and obtain a degree in what I really want to do and what I really want to do and continue my two entrepreneurship businesses and i want to i want to branch out into more businesses as well i want to have a vending machine business i want to do party decorations except for balloons i have somebody to do balloons for me because i'm scared of balloons but i just want i just want to do so much i want to travel i want to travel the world i want to go to tokyo that's like my biggest my top of the line vacation that I want to go to is Tokyo. Under that is Paris. And then under that is Bora Bora. So I have a lot of plans for my future. So you guys just stay tuned because y'all going to be along with me. Y'all going to witness when I accomplish these goals. And I'm speaking them into existence, into existence in the name of Jesus. But. Oh, and last, the last question. The last, last question. What exactly do you want to base your YouTube channel off of? So, I want my YouTube channel to um to not only be an audience for just girls, but for my girls, I want to empower my girls to know their self, know their worth, and to stand tall in their skin, baby. Because these people, these relationships, whether it's with a boy or a female, or whether it's your parents, friends, or any family member, they can deteriorate and make you feel less than who you know you are. But also, as a diverse as a diverse group to just show my life share my life experiences i'm gonna go into my senior year just vlog my entire life you know document everything just a documentation a video doc a video diary of my life being able to go back to my videos and be like oh my gosh this is me when i was 13 17 16 years old look at me but yeah that's pretty much it but that's it for this video y'all i really hope you guys enjoyed my first video back and i hope to see you in my next video but make sure you guys follow all of my social medias pretty girl maya on tiktok and instagram and of course this life that with maya but without further ado make sure you guys like you comment and you subscribe and turn on my post notifications so i was notified when i post another video and make sure you guys comment some video ideas that you guys want to see and i will see you all in my next video Bye, y'all.